guys, this is Comic Uno, changing a review for Future's End, issue 21. And before I start talking about Future's End, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno, episode 66, so that's the show where I review all the comics I've read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We got Cartoon Network, Super Secret Crisis War, issue 4. Robin Hood, Ongoing, issue 2. Pop, issue 2. Sinestro, Future's End, issue 1, which I also have an uh, in-depth review for that on Comic Frontline. Outcast issue 4, and Batman Eternal issue 25. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno episode 66, which is annotated. Also, other updates, uh, my comic book schedule for the next two weeks is going to really change a lot just for the next two weeks, and you should check my update video out for that. Also, I have a contest going on with my update video, so you should check that out also. And I have another contest going on that you can win a DVD set, so you can learn more about that in the other annotated video, or we'll say contest. So there's three annotated videos that you should check out, but let's talk about Future's End, issue 21. Um... Yeah, Features Ends, obviously for me, it's just been an up and down roller coaster. There's some stories I enjoy, and there's others that are just like, eh, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, the one story I really did enjoy is this whole Green Arrow is still alive. I didn't really expect that. And they're trying to connect this with the new um, weekly series, which I think is coming out next week, with the Earth 2 series. Let's hope it's better than Batman Journal Features End. Not saying that they're bad series, but they're definitely up and down. Sometimes they're really good issues. But a lot of times there aren't. And with Future's End, it's been pretty consistent of, like, bad or, like, okay. <laughs> so Future's End hasn't been great. But I uh, love this cover. I think the art's really cool. And I was looking forward to it because I always, like, give this hope that it'll be really good. And let's see if this issue was really good. So with this issue, definitely is more a lead-up to the new weekly series. We find out how the Earth 2 members went to this Earth, uh, our new 52 features and Earth. So we get to learn a little bit more about these characters and how we thought Lois Lane and Hawkgirl and all these characters die, but they're actually at Cadmus now that connects to Future Zen, um, that they're just being captured, being, uh, I guess, dissected in a way to learn a little bit more about them. But we also see that, you know, this Future Zen Earth doesn't really relate to the Earth 2 characters and they they don't like them. We've seen that with all the other Future Zen titles already, that they don't really like Earth 2, and they can't really relate relate to them. They're kind of scared of them. So uh, that's pretty much the whole story. It really is leading up to this war of Earth 2 and why they left, so it's really that connection. What do I think? Um, I like the story. I think there's times where I was a little bored. I'm like, why is this in Future Zen? Why didn't you make this the first issue of uh, this world, whatever, or two story instead? I was a little confused by that. Uh, I, I am still a little confused by that. I mean, it does connect with Future Zen, but really seems like it's going to connect to this other series more. Uh, and also the art, I think, really brought the story down. Usually the art is very, very um, consistent, but here it was just kind of lazy, I felt. A lot of it was lazy. Hopefully this is not the art for World's End, but even this explosion, just very lazy art for me. Um, grainy, in a way. It's my opinion. I just, I didn't like it. It brought the issue really down for me. Overall, I thought it was an okay issue. Um, I think this could have been a little bit better uh, to intrigue my interest here. That it, it didn't. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't anything that special. Uh, but it, obviously I'm going to pick up this new Earth 2 weekly series just because I've been loving Tom Taylor's Earth 2. So hopefully this weekly series could be good also. And I'm picking up all the other weekly series already. Uh, just with that promise, maybe it'll get better. Uh, and this, again, this wasn't horrible. It, it was just kind of middle ground for me. So I'm going to give it three stars. Um, it's definitely better than what we've been getting with Future Zen, but I don't know if it's particularly needed in this issue of Future Zen. Maybe it could have started the Earth 2 series instead, and also the art was very shaky here. So I'm going to give it three stars. I'm leaning more towards Pick It Up if you're getting the Earth 2 weekly. If you're not, then... You might, not, you might need to read this because it does connect with um, the prisoners but it's not totally necessary. So I'm going to give it three stars, leaning more towards Pick It Up. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the right situations. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter, and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.